Blueface goes off on Jaden for humiliating him on an interview. Blueface has just been clowned by Jaden and let's just say he's not too thrilled about the embarrassment. In case you missed it, Jaden made it abundantly clear that she's fully single and focused on making money. Oh, I'm single. We out having fun, celebrating the new year, getting this money, you feel me? This revelation came after a lot of speculation that the two had reconciled. Just recently, they were seen in rehearsals together and they even performed together which led fans to believe that they're back on good terms. However, it looks like Jaden is truly done with Blueface. During an interview at a New Year's Eve party, she revealed that her resolution is to put herself first. No, nothing's going on. I just would did the best with the hand I was dealt at the time. I didn't. I don't think nothing of it. You know, it is what it is. So y'all, y'all not no, kicking in or nothing like that. No, 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 it is what it is. I just did the best I could with the hand I was dealt. Feel me? She also dipped into the talks of self improvement, revealing that she wants to be better than the women she was before. She then shortly after gave a hard confirmation about her status with Blueface, saying that she's single and added that she's focusing on getting this money. But that is not all. See, she recently celebrated her breakup with him by getting a cake that said, You dodged a bullet. Of course, many fans are having mixed feelings about Jaden's statement, but there is no reason for for that because Jaden has a lot of reasons to want to walk away. No, and, and yeah. if they came in like that, then I was just like, all right, cool, whatever. If that's okay. what y'all want to be on. But we can coexist. But I don't think, you know, and I, I mean, but I ain't gonna say the coast is clear or nothing. Like, I don't know, everything, you know, never everything is unexpected. So whatever, it is what it is. Just recently, Blue said he doesn't think Jaden even liked him and that she's not wife material because she started acting like Rishon. He claimed, you probably not gonna be my wife if you got a ring and you just find a leave with Rock and not answer the phone and record my phone. You're doing the stuff that Rock does, you get me? I think that Jaden doesn't really like me like she loves me of course but i don't think she likes me we've been dealing with each other this entire time and it's almost like look i'ma keep it real he continued i proposed to Jaden to make her happy i proposed to Jaden to make her happy i knew that would make her happy so my whole objective with, with all this stuff as far as Jaden, was not to make rock mad but it was to make Jaden happy right so after I got done doing all of this and I see that she's still not happy. Blueface even admitted that he wasn't any happier about their situation at the time of the proposal but hoped that it would be the shift their relationship needed. He added, I just went, got this ring, got on one day, I'm letting it be known so once I do all this and still acting like you don't like me for real, then obviously I'ma be like, alright I guess. Clearly their relationship has been far from what we all thought it was oh, I'm single. Uh, we business partners and we co-parenting and we're gonna make the best of the, of, a, of the best situation. And to top it all off, Jaden has been having a hard time dealing with Blueface's family, particularly his mom Carlisa Saffold, who's been vocal about her dislike of Jaden and her relationship with her son. For starters, she claimed that Jaden is a gold digger, a bad mother, and a disrespectful person who caused problems in their family. You want me to respect your wife? That's not a wife. That's a maid. You need to know the f***ing difference. Okay? Okay? That's not a wife. You don't have a help make You got a maid. You getting them mixed up. As for Jaden, she revealed in an interview with Jason Lee that she had to live with Blueface and his mom for a while during her pregnancy and that it was a nightmare. She said that she had to clean up to them, that they would argue all the time and that Carlisa would make racist jokes about her. Jaden also accused Carlisa of being jealous of her and trying to sabotage her career. She said that Carlisa would call her names, spread lies about her and even try to hook up Blueface with other women. Jaden said that she moved out as soon as she could to protect her peace. Well, right now, me and her aren't talking. 
So, I mean, before we was cool, but she just do too much for the internet. Whether, I don't know if it's like she's faking it sometimes or not. Of course, Carlisa did not take Jaden's interview lightly. She responded by going on Instagram Live. Here, she called her ugly, stupid, drunk, and ungrateful. She denied that she ever made racist jokes or tried to interfere with her son's relationship. She said that she never liked Jaden and that she was only tolerating her for the sake of her grandson. Carlisa also claimed that Jaden was using Blueface for his money and fame and that she was cheating on him with other rappers. She warned Blueface to be careful with Jaden and to get a DNA test for his son. With all that in mind that was lesson number one it's three parts to this series we gonna get you together because you done already got kicked me got me kicked in my forehead now you playing with the trailer park trash i ain't got no time for this there's obviously many reasons that have pushed Jaden to being single and being away from Blueface and honestly, I'm all for Jaden on this one because Blueface seems to attract drama and controversies wherever he goes. One recent incident that landed Jaden in hot soup was when he ordered her to beat up a fan. Like who wants to be involved in drama after drama? But here's the interesting part. Some people believe that this whole situation is just another PR stunt for Jaden and Blueface. Not too long ago, they seemed to be doing great with Blueface even buying a four-story mansion for Jaden as a Christmas present. Merry Christmas. Oh no, you're not How much will we get? Merry Christmas. They even went on a date and Blueface took to his Instagram story and made it clear that he was getting ready for the date. In the videos, Blueface said that he was getting ready for a date and that he wanted to impress the mystery women. From there, we got a clip of him inside a restaurant where he was talking to a woman who sounded suspiciously familiar because the women sounded a lot like Jaden Alexis. Mm, we can't, we go to my place. Oh yeah, you into that? This with your refrigerator. I'm dating now. You don't catch me a fish. Simply put, this was some sort of publicity stunt, and many just couldn't put it past Blueface because this is the kind of stuff he's known for. He has been able to build a huge brand outside of music using PR stunts. And to make the PR narrative even more believable, Blueface and Jaden recently jumped in on a remix of a popular song, Burby. Undoubtedly, they both need the cloud to push the song, so it is not far-fetched to believe that this drama is all just a PR stunt. After all, all, they have created a name for themselves when it comes to peeling off attention grabbing stance. To give you some context, after Blueface proposed to Jaden, many called Blueface's move a publicity stand. Even Christian Rock made the same claim. In her eyes, he was doing it just to hurt her. Additionally, she believes that Blueface also wanted to help promote his new label, which was a pretty believable accusation to say the least. However, Blueface denied this in a tweet, making it crystal clear that he proposed purely out of love. So could this all be a ploy for clout? It's definitely not out of the realm of possibility, but what do you think? Is this drama real or just another PR stunt? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like and share this video. Until next time, stay tuned for more juicy updates.